Hi there. The FTX meltdown has brought huge attention to decentralized exchanges again, as DeFi solved many of the transparency issue. At a decentralized exchange, you have your coins in your own custody. Therefore, do not have to sign up or KYC, and can always read on the blockchain what happened with your coins. For spot trading, decentralized exchanges have already gained huge popularity. For example, Uniswap, PancakeSwap, Curve have billion-dollar daily trading volume on many days. How about perpetual trading, though? Many traders want to short sell and leverage their trades, therefore trading futures. Adoption has been much slower, but in the recent past, multiple decentralized perpetual exchanges have come up. Today, we will be going to have a look whether it makes sense to move your future trading to a DEX, how much volume and market depth they have, how much fee and spread you pay, and much more. We will use the example of DYDX, the oldest and largest perpetual DEX as reference, and compare it against Binance and OKX. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's first of all have a look at the trading volume of the different centralized exchanges and the DEX. Trading volume is important to have your position allocated quickly. If there's no volume, your position wouldn't be allocated. I have collected the different 24 hours trading volume for the most traded BTC perpetual pair at the respective exchanges here for you. As we can see, Binance has by far the largest trading volume with roughly 4.6 billion US dollar, followed by OKX with 875 million and DYDX is last with 87 million USD. So what does that mean for you as a trader? If you are trading large precision, that say multiple million USD in a trade, you may face difficulty to get your order filled if you place a limit order. Of course, for traders with much smaller trading size, trading at DYDS will probably not cause much difference compared to a centralized exchange. If you are placing market orders, it is very important how much liquidity is in the market to fill your order. Hence, the market depth is very important. We will have a look at the 2% market depth. The 2% market depth describes how much order value is in the market until a price level 2% above or 2% below the current market price. Again, we see that the market depth is the highest for Binance with 140 to 160 million USD each long and short. DYDS actually follows second with 10 to 11 million USD each long and short, and OKX has 8 to 9 million USD for long and short. Surprisingly, unlike the trading volume, the decentralized exchange score much better in this metric, enabling also larger market orders. Yet again, for traders with very big volume, Binance or other centralized exchanges will most likely provide better price for their trades. And next, let's have a look at the fee levels. We will assume a 10 million USD future volume and no significant holding in the native exchange token. So for example, BNB for Binance. At Binance, that trader will fall in tier 1, giving maker fee of 0.02% and taker fee of 0.04%. For OKX, the trader will pay maker fees of 0.02% and take your fees of 0.05%. However, for DYDX, the trader would only pay 0.005% maker fee and 0.03% taker fee. This is significantly less at the decentralized exchange compared to the centralized exchanges. What does this mean in the absolute terms? If we assume 50% of maker and 50% taker trades, the trader would pay yearly trading fees of 36,000 USD at Binance, at OKX 42,000 USD, and at DYDX 21,000 USD, which is a very significant difference. With only half of the trading fee, the trader could save 21,000 USD at DYDX compared to OKX. The fee difference among exchanges are oftentimes very much underestimated. However, they have a huge effect on the trading performance. This is why we developed Dr. Fee. Instead of a complex manual comparison and Dr. Fee, you can just type in your trading volume 
and seconds later, see the exact fee you would have paid at all the major crypto exchanges. Oftentimes, this reveals saving potential of 50, 60, or even 80%. Instead of typing in your trading volume manually, you can also just connect your account through a read-only API, and Dr. Fee reads all the necessary information from your account to present you the exact fee at all the exchanges. Of course, trading fee is not the only cost aspect we have to look at when comparing centralized exchange with the decentralized perpetual exchange. Spread is another cost factor that can influence your performance. Spread describes the difference between the bid and ask price. At Binance and OKX, the spread for the Bitcoin USDT pairs is 0.1 USD each, while at D1DX, it is 1 USD. 10 times as much. Let's have a look at what that means in US dollar. While the user pays spread of roughly 340 USD per year for the 10 million USD trading volume at Binance and OKX, the trader pays 3,400 USD at DYDX. Overall, we can see that our trader would still be significantly better off at DYDX in terms of fees and spread compared to the two centralized exchange. Fees and spread at up to 36.3 thousand at Binance, 42.3 thousand USD at OKX, and 24.4 K USD at DYDX. Before wrapping up, we will have a look at one more dimension: funding fees. Funding fees are paid or received depending on whether future traded above or below the spot price, and whether you are long or short positioned. At the time of this video, the funding fee at Binance was minus 0.033%, at OKX minus 0.027%, and minus 0.025% at DYDX. So as you can see, there is not much difference here at this point between the centralized exchanges and the decentralized exchange. One little note of caution, other traders with different volumes and trading style may of course face different fee levels. All three exchanges have a tiered fee level system, and you may also receive additional discount in case you hold a native exchange token. Once again, if you do not want to manually compare the fee, just head over to drminusfee.com and let the automated fee analysis do the job for you. By the way, if you want to receive an additional 5% off the user trading fee at DYDX and to what I have shown you in this video, have a look in the video description. If following the link there to create your account, you are entitled to a 5% cash back of your trading fee. Given what we have just seen in this comparison of decentralized and centralized perpetual exchanges, decentralized exchanges can already be a very attractive alternative to centralized exchanges. Besides the benefit of a decentralized exchanges such as full transparency and full control over your own coins, you can also benefit from great trading condition and save significantly in fee. With that being said, if you are a large volume trader, you may still face much better condition at decentralized exchanges. With the ongoing move toward decentralized finance, we may soon see higher volume and market depth at decentralized exchanges, further improving the trading condition there. We at Dr. Fee definitely keep an eye on it and we're already working on including decentralized exchanges into our fully automated fee analysis. All right, if you liked the video, please leave us a like and a follow. We continue to make video for you to optimize your trading setup. Stay safe. Please be aware that we at Dr. Fee are no financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purpose only.